Hello guys, it's the it's me again, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to calculate uh, wind direction and wind speed using the E6B. It's the uh, this is for all you guys that are taking an aviation course and using one of the flight computers. Okay, I'll go over this side in a different video, but for now, I want to teach you guys how to do wind direction and wind speed. So the thing is you're going to need is you're going to need one of these dry erase markers if you want. You can use pencil, but it's just hard to erase so I just use this. Next you're going to need is you're going to want to need your data. So if you wanted to uh, have all the data, what you're going to want to know is your true heading, true airspeed, track, and ground speed. Those are the things that you want to know and have the data for. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put your true heading on top in the true index. So I'm just going to do that right now. Hold on. And then the one I'm doing right now is at 80 degrees. So you want to rotate this piece over to it hits 80. So let's do that right now. Yeah, that's close. Wait, there. So therefore, you, then there you go. You have your uh, wind uh, true heading in the true index. Next thing you want to know is you want to find the true airspeed, true airspeed. Then this is uh, 150. So on using sliding, using a sliding thing, you want to put the grommet, which is a center thing, right there on 150 so slide that down to 150 okay after that what you want to do is you're going to want to compare the heading, the heading to the track so in this case 80 to 70 which is a 10 degree difference and uh, this is the thing uh, to tell um, if the track is bigger than the heading there's a right drift and the track is uh, less than the heading it's left drift. So let me left drift going this way, right drift going this way. So as a 10 degree difference, the track is less than, so it's going to be a 10 degree left drift. So what you're going to want to do is you want to find the 10 on your, on your thing. So the next one you want to do is you want to push down and make a line right on top of 10. Okay? Next thing you want to do is you want to find the ground speed. In this case, it's 152. So if you find 152, which is about right there, it's right above it. What you want to do is put an X or a cross right above it. In this case, it's actually quite close to it. Okay. So then, what you want to do? Oh, I still need a marker. Is after that, here I want to, to draw an arrow going from the grommet to the to the um, intersection. Is what we call it. So I'm gonna do that right now. Give me one quick second. Going from there to there. And make sure you make an arrow. Making the arrow helps me. So you guys want to try that out. Um, after that. You want to turn the uh oh, is that 150? It's kind of hard to do this one-handed. So, uh, um, what you want to do is you want to turn this to the to the arrow is going straight down, and then it's right on the mark. So right here, this would be if you look when the arrow's pointing down. Now you're uh, downwards. What you want to do is you want to look up on the true index. As you can see, this is 172 degrees. So on your paper, your wind direction, almost said one direction, is 172 degrees. Wind direction is when you find the, is under the true index. It's under the true index. So the how to get the wind speed is to count 
how many, uh, how much is going down. So this would be 50, 150, and this looks about 124. So that would be 26, and I think that's 126. Just let me check. 150 minus 124. Twenty six, actually, yeah. So the wind speed would be twenty six knots. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this I hope this was helpful. Uh, next video, hopefully, I'm gonna be doing is on how to calculate um how many uh nautical miles and turning it to miles. And then and how and the kilometers, which I've done right here, and how to uh, change knots into nautical miles, and other stuff of that nature. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I hope you guys get your questions right because this is my homework. So um, that's how you calculate uh, the wind direction and wind speed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.